How y'all doing? We're going to be about Tanasha. Talking about she regrets working with R. Kelly. And Chris Brown says she tunes out the R. Kelly song. She raised it from memory. And it was embarrassing. I'm going to address that one real quickly. That was on his Buffet album. And at that stage in time, that album was just kind of like a thrown together project. Sounds like, you know, because one thing I noticed with R. Kelly records, he had wanted to put out this musical virus project. And I think with the record companies, they weren't letting him put out where he was going all these regions and places. So they just threw together whatever. And she basically was a lightweight act. Um, you know, like when he worked with Nevia, he had to work with some lightweights to do background, to do singing both. So that's what she was another lightweight, which she is. I mean, she's, you know, dime a dozen. And it's a song placement. It's a duet. Gives her more exposure. You know, <laughs> let's be realistic. <clears throat> you have, when you sign a rough contract, they put you into working with who's happening. So whether you want to or not, mostly people, it's for, it's for the bag. It ain't got nothing to do about who I like or whatnot. Them days is long gone. Do it. Make it work. If something happens, hey, if it don't, hey, just part of being with the label and whoever's carrying the weight. Same thing with her and Chris Brown working together. See, Bre- see Breezy got the name, just like R. Kelly got the name. So, hey, you work. <clears throat> but you come out and say that you embarrass and all that clowning. When you know those are two of the biggest artists, the last 20 plus years in the industry. Okay. But then to see Breezy clasp back on her and say, name five of her Tanisha's songs, Tanisha's songs. And I'm like, right. <clears throat> you can't really talk when you ain't nobody really checking your records out. You know, they put a, they, they gave you a spin with two of the bigger names to see if you could, you know, bout it, bout it. And if it hit, it hit. If it don't, it don't. You know, the one thing I hate, especially with our killer situation, like people talk about, well, we should have to work with him and all this and all that. You already knew was out in these streets, allegedly, supposedly, what have you. But also, <clears throat> you're in the music business. Unless you sell a boatload of records or <clears throat> you're touring or you got some hot merch or something, they assign you to work with somebody. That's what they're going to expect you to do. They put you with all these. They, they the Artists don't have much say. Most artists don't. So they got to work with whatever they assign to work with and acting and playing all tough and saying, I wish I had like you had a say. Yeah. OK, I love to see her contract, because if they say you sign RCA and you got to work with Kellos, you got to work with Breezy, <clears throat> whoever that's on the label, that's what they expect. That's that's what comes with the highlight art industry is it's a business and they expect results and they put you as a tag team to say something happens. If it don't, it don't. But to come out and this, this, say all like that, it's a joke. Especially when you ain't got a career because nobody be sweating your ruckus out here like that. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shit. If you like, and I'm out. Peace.